Hi guys, welcome back, it's Chaz. In this episode we're going to look at sensor blocks. Now sensor blocks can be used to control a variety of functional blocks in Space Engineers. You can set them up to control anything from airlocks to lights and even, uh, even to make automatic drills. Now in this episode we're just going to cover the basics, uh, how to set one up and how to control some of the more common uses such as doors and lights. I'd love to see what you guys have created with it, uh, or if you've got any suggestions further down the line. Uh, I've seen sensor blocks set up with timer blocks to uh, run basically the entire building pretty much. Now let's jump in and we will show you how to set them up. Okay, so you can see on the front of this building here, I've just set this up as an example. This sensor block on the front, uh, the one above the door, will control the door and then there's another one set up to control the lights. So you can see me, I'm going to go to the door, and then when I step away from it, it will close. And the same happened with the lights. Now, sensor blocks dead easy to set up, but we ha uh, you just have to remember to set them up the right way. So you can see the line is at the bottom. I'm just going to take it off and we'll, we'll set it up from scratch. Okay, so, where's my sensor block? Okay, so eight. So you can see in the on the diagram on the right hand side, that basically shows you which way round the block needs to be. Uh, we are in creative mode, so obviously we don't have to worry about any of the resources, but it doesn't really take that much to add in. Okay, so on the screen we've got it set up the right way round with the line at the bottom. Now you can place them anywhere, it doesn't really matter if you put them on the floor, on the ceiling, 50 meters underground, whatever. Okay, but we're going to place it here just so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so you might have heard that little audible tone as well. That just basically means that it's detected us. Now, it has a little panel on the front that we can click and uh, it'll help us to control the sensor without having to have like a little different control panel. But the first thing we need to do, you see I've already set up an antenna. We will need to show the sensor field range and that will basically give us like a visual indication of where the sensor is showing. But we can't we can't just do that. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so we need to show it on the hood. And that will basically, you see how the screen's gone a little bit darker. And that basically shows us the area that it covers. Now, by default, it's five meters cubed. So it gives us a five by five block. Okay, so. We're only concerned. Basically, if we if anyone enters that 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 sensor range, uh, it will it will trigger um, an action. So we've got our door. If the the first block will be get will get triggered when an item enters the range. So we're gonna toggle that block on. No, we're not. We're gonna toggle that block open. And then the second box is when an object leaves the sensor range. So we're going to close that on the way out. Just keep the base secure and everything. Okay, so we've got them set up. Now we need to manage the sensor range because the higher it is, the more power it uses. I mean, you could you could keep them all well, you could you could set them whatever you want, but you could be sensible with it. I think each block is about 2.5 meters. Um, so you can see we're outside of the range now. Now that only covers, I mean, the, the block's halfway up, isn't it? So if we say a full block, we'll make it five meters. So you can see on the bottom. Okay. Center free, left extent. We'll make that 2.5 meters. Oh, and if you want to. Um, set it to a more exact number if you hold down control and then click it and that will let you uh, put like a decimal number into it okay so we've got 2.5 on the bottom we need the top we don't need anything on the top uh, the back extent is going into the building we'll leave it at this is the default value for now and the front value is fine as well so let's have a look at that see how that's Yeah, okay, so that's that'll probably do us to be fair. If we go in, how is that looking on the other side? 
Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. That works well. So I'm going to hide it from the hood. And I'm just going to turn this off as well, just in case it has any kind of, like, graphical implications. Okay, so that's our automatic door. Now, when they're on the ceiling, it gets a little bit more tricky because you're kind of dealing with different kind of sensor ranges. So, in essence, the forward would be your your, your vertical axis, and the left and right, well, left and right would be the same. It would be your top, which would be going up this way and the other way. Okay, so I've set up this sensor just to show you like the different axes. Axes? Axes. Okay, so if I look at this sensor, I've set all these sensors down, all the, all the extents to 0.1 meters, except for the back and the front. So on the one that we've just done on the door, the, the back and front would have been along your, I'm going to call it like the horizontal axis. But you see this is the other way around now. So, yeah. So I've set them all to 50 meters. They're probably, because they're two blocks high, it probably need to be about five meters. And we don't care about the back because that's technically the way around. Okay, so if I go down here, you can see the sensor doesn't continue all the way down. It kind of just gets lost in the floor. But that's fine. I'm happy with that. So, oh, it's gone a bit too far away. I'm just going to come up and I'm going to set the left and right. We can default them at five. Uh, the bottom extent, I'm going to keep that five as well. It's about two blocks. And then the top extent's probably going to be roughly about five as well. So let's have a look at that. It's obviously covered as a. Yep, so I can't see it extending outside of the base anywhere. Yeah, I think that's okay. Um, what I'm going to do, let's just turn it night time so we can see it a bit better. Oh, okay, I'll tell you what, let's, uh... Ah, okay. Uh, what do I want to do? I need to turn off the sensor field. Okay, let's try that. Cool, okay. Yep, so you can see the, the lights are set up automatically, and everything is working automatically, which is nice. Okay, so... Guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you liked the content, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you've got any suggestions on how to make this better or any videos that you want me to cover, uh, just feel free to put it in a, a comment below. Thanks for watching.